concept that shows up in Unit 6 is the idea of economies of scale. You can think of this as the, the bigger is better idea in production. Production, sales, distribution. Bigger is better. Now, what do we mean by economies of scale? The idea is that when you have, say, you know, a mom and pop store, a very small corner store, that it's going to cost them a certain amount to do business. Whereas you go down the road to Walmart, Walmart buys things in such huge quantities, they get such enormous batch discounts that by being bigger, they can actually get their costs down. Lower costs, which should translate into a lower price. That's why a store like Walmart or a hardware giant like Lowe's or Home Depot, what we term big box stores, you might have heard that expression, that's why they run all these smaller stores out of business. It's because of this. They have lower costs, they have lower inventory costs, lower operating costs. It translates into lower prices that other people can't compete with because they don't have economies of scale. Okay? And that's really what it is. Bigger is better. Now, is it possible to be too big that your supply chain kind of gets away from you? It's possible. Sure, it's possible. But it's going to take a long time for a very well-organized, well-managed business to get to a point where they can't handle the, the scale anymore. By scale, we're talking about size, how big something is. Bigness? Yep. Economies of scale and big in the smallest industry. There you go. Um, but by scale, we're talking about size. If you don't like the word bigness, we can talk about it in terms of size. How many retail outlets are you operating? Um, how many suppliers do you run? How many warehouses do you have available? How much clout That's do you have with them? That's your scale. My, my, my favorite example about Walmart would be the fact that if you want to sell things to Walmart, if you want to wholesale stuff to Walmart, you have to use electronic um, tracking of stuff and you have to tie into their supply chain management system. Because if you don't, they can't handle this. And more to the point, for the supplier, if they don't, they can't sell to Walmart. And who's the largest retail outlet in the world? Wally World. Yeah. Um, and the reason for that is because they've been able to, it, the word is cannibalize other business. They're not creating new demand, but they are taking it away from a lot of other businesses. So you might have heard that. It's not a pretty word. It's, it's kind of a loaded term for Walmart, that they cannibalize demand. But they're able to do that because of price. Price is a huge determinant in what people are willing and able to do when you're talking about their spending. Where are they willing to go? What are they able to spend? It comes down to price. With a comparable quality, that's what it comes down to. And this is what economies of scale can get a corporation. It's why corporations can do a lot more volume of business in the United States, even though there are a lot fewer corporations than there are small businesses. Right there, that's your key.